So warming up guys, you're gonna hit some shots. Many of you have little grip condition things. Um, this is an alignment stick, it's an alignment aid. When we put a skinny one through here, then we have a ball location stick. I suggest using a T-square like this so you kind of have a reference for target and a reference for your ball location so you build familiarity with it. Keys are when you train and you have a reference down, when you leave that reference, sometimes it, you, you can see it there. So if you train with it and you get used to the fact that, you know, we're going to test you guys for routine today and hopefully you get a very cool keychain because this is your kind of award for passing this test. It's not that hard to test. Okay, a test looks like this. Now you wouldn't have a smart ball doing it, but you would take some primer, just kind of like you saw yesterday. Tiger made his little primer move. So I'm just aiming in the middle of that green with the black flag on it, a little to the right of the black flag. Walking in, pairing the hands. In this case, I gather up the smart ball, aim the face, take a look. There's a little waggle. It looked good when I aimed the face, set my feet last, gather up the ball, hold, 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 holster. I'm done. That's one rep. Here's what I'll see though. I'll see guys that are disappointed they missed. The tissues are inside. If I need to go get the box, I'll give them to you. Okay, I don't care if you miss. You do. Let's see if we can accomplish this, the task, guys. Here's the task, okay? Refrain from like <coughs> negative self-talk. So we're gonna do it again. We'll have something down. We'll get into some more technique, then we'll get into breakaway sessions with more interesting little wedge shots. A little primer, standing on my target line. A lot of you guys were taught how to get your left hand on yesterday. How to get your lead arm in the right place, righty, I'm sorry, lefties, forgive me, you guys are good at flipping things around. Take that moment here. Walk in, start to pair the hands. Waggle, take a look. Aim the face, if you like it, great, keep going. Waggle, waggle. Tap, let's go. Hit a little shot. Okay, that went a little to the right for me. Okay holster. I'm done. That's a challenge. Put your hand up if you can't do that. Anybody can't do that? Okay, I'm a little salty right now. Why am I salty? Because I want you guys to get good. Don't waste a damn shot today. Miss. It's okay to miss. I don't care if you miss. Just do, just do what we're asking. You'll see something cool happen. You won't miss so much. Okay, but if you aren't interested in the end. You're interested in the middle. The middle's contact. I get it. Okay, the middle gives you a feedback before the end. It's a distraction. Don't let the distraction throw you off. What's your goal, fellas? Is your goal just to make swings that go, er, okay, or they to kind of go certain distances? Oh, I missed. I did what coach asked me to do. If you were coaching kids and the co and the kid did what you asked, would you would you heckle them for the outcome, or would you be like, "Way to go, kid! You did exactly what I asked you to do." Kid's gonna get better, isn't he? Okay. Well, you're those kids, right? Let's. Look, our challenge as coaches is dealing with what you guys already know, or think you know, which is fine. Right? Videos. Some of my videos. I've had students come to me and say, Martin, I've watched all your videos. And they look like this. I'm like, oh, don't tell anybody that. <laughs> okay? But here's what I really am amazed with. When people come back and they can do this, and some of you all can do it. It's awesome to see. This is, I could care less. And we were joking, I forget who was at the table. Oh, it was, uh, I think Jeff said it. Miguel Angel Jimenez. Perfect. I did what I did what I was supposed to do. Topped it on purpose. Okay, if you can top it on purpose, you can kind of hit it solid on purpose too. Okay, Kevin yesterday said something funny. He goes, we're on number five, and he towed an iron shot 
about as much as you can tow it. So much so that it went that way. Okay, it was like, right? So in the miss, don't we, we need, we need an excuse why we missed. We need a reason. Picking on you for a second, okay? You can handle it. He goes, I lifted my head, right? Nope. You didn't lift your head. You know what I said? You missed. He didn't lift his head. Now, could he have focused more on the grip work that he'd done so successfully during that day? Yep. Okay, but it wasn't a, you didn't lift your head. You had an outcome that you didn't like. We have to as, as, attach some kind of a reason why the outcome wasn't good, right? Or we can say, oh, we missed. Yeah, okay, let's go hit it again. You know, find yourself, you'll, you'll see, guys, beginning with the end in mind, my coach, George Knudsen, it was always about, okay, here's this thing, in the, this weight in our hands. We talk about why golf's hard because it's separated by time. And good players can walk in and reacquaint themselves with the golf club rhythmically, like, there it is, okay, hello, wedge. I needed to go a certain distance. I had a good moment with Larry yesterday, sharing some Mickelson wisdom from way back when. Talking about, you know, Larry's a very good player, but he's a Martin. I'm having a hard time with the, the ball speed. I can hit these shots. They're nice, okay, which would please most of you. But when you're really good, you want them to go the distance you want them to go. Agreed? If you want it to go 30 to 34 yards and land on the green and roll out, you want it to go that far. That's what you expect. It doesn't always happen. It's okay. And so we had a nice little event saying, okay, here's a wisdom from Mickelson. Mickelson would do something cool like this, guys. So here's how a brain can help you. Okay. So if I want to fly it, let's call it, uh, if I'm going to fly it, all right, to the first pin right here. Okay. I don't want to freak this lady out too bad. I'll let her walk by. Okay. So I'm not going to fly it on the green. I don't want to go fix a pitch mark. But... Okay, so watch this, watch this swing. Which one was closer to being correct? First one. First one. Who said first one? Hand up. First one? Okay. So here's the first one. Okay. And that was chunked. Okay, so is that any remotely close to being correct? How about the second one? Okay, why? Too soft? Yeah, okay, so guess what our brain's really good at? If something's too hard and something's too soft, we're really good at kind of finding the middle of that. Now, the first one was extreme, okay? So if I said, I'm going to hop this on the grass past the you know, end of the last chair there and roll it up. Say I did this. Is that enough, guys? No. Can't hear you. No. Okay. How about this? Thank you. So the brain's pretty good at going, okay, somewhere in the middle of those, maybe there's a decent speed. That was mildly mishit. Okay. But that's pretty good. If I hit that shot on the course and had that 14-footer when it stops, as I wasn't aiming at the pin on the right, I wouldn't be displeased with that. One's too much, one's not enough. What's the brain pretty good at? Somewhere in the middle. Okay, guys, so here's what the challenge is. Again, you're 13, 14 year olds. Okay, from the decade that, that were badass 13 and 14 year olds. Not so much this decade. Okay? Your challenge, guys, prime it back here. Be mindful of hands arms. Let's put the smart ball on. Okay. When you put this on, pro tip, there's a fixed loop. Then there's a slidey piece that makes it longer. It can fit Shaquille O'Neal. But if you put it on like this, you could choke yourself out. <laughs> we'll hang you swinging from the tent. Okay. So don't put it on if you're like, Ugh. okay. So pro tip, there's a fixed loop that will not choke you out. And it'll fit over my big head, it'll fit you. And it'll hang way, way down. And you can slide this part up to get it to sort of fit. Okay? Yeah, red's on the inside. Okay? And so, you know, you'll be fumbling around trying to get it in place. But, guys, look at this warm-up like, okay, hey, you know what? I'm going to hit a wedge. I don't always have to hit a wedge 140 yards. You know, I can hit a wedge 20 yards. 
Okay, and I'd be like, mm, that was 25, too hard. So since we have this club in our hand and we have this ball between our arms, can we start to see what it's like to ladder this skill, to add speed, judge impact a little, but before we do, can we finish every swing kind of casually waiting for the ball to stop? And then we're done. And if you miss, you miss, who cares? Okay, let's see who gets a couple of attaboys real quick. Who can take the weight of the club and move it, have a collide of the golf ball into a finishing form? That would be great, wouldn't it? That's what I want to see. Questions? Anything? Nada? Do you ever do any kind of just swing position you know, clockwise, or is it just more, do you enjoy the, the, that process of field discovery? You know, too much so so, so there's, there's merit to the clock. Here's the merit to it, okay? But, so, you guys, there's a video in your training space about positions. So, address is P1, P3, when the lead arm's parallel to the ground, okay? P8, when the lead arm's parallel to the ground, uh, trail arm's parallel to the ground. So, this is, you know, you call this a clock drill. Now, I could do that clock drill at a different rate, can't I? See my point? So, it, like, the body, every swing, it's pretty tough you'll learn how to kind of get your arms going kind of parallel to the ground on both sides. And I've always been a good wedge player, and I'll continue to be a good wedge player. That's, I was, I mean, not as good as I used to be, but my point is, I kind of had a sense of the, the size of the golf swing I needed and the rate with which my body turned. And obviously, decent contact has to happen in there because a bunch of stuff gets between the ball and the club, or you hit too much ball and low points too far forward, that can be problematic, okay? But a lot of this is self-discovery, guys. Because even though you have the best clock, the rate the hands move on the clock is a big deal because there's something turning the hands in the middle, right? See you, coach. Okay. So, got, And this is a great way to say, hey, let's burn up this next 20, 25 minutes with the coaches watching, jumping in, making little tweaks while you guys have a great target line, something that is, oh, and I didn't even really get to the value of the smart ball. And I touched on this with Mike yesterday, okay? So I'm going to use the logo as a reference. So there's the logo of the smart ball vertically between my arms, guys. Okay. Generally vertically. It's hard to get it perfect. There's my golf club sort of vertical too. You with me? Okay. When I energize this, see how the golf club is sort of behind me a little bit now? It's not, it's not, it's not where it was, is it? It's a little behind that. Good players tend to be able to move the ball and their body to where the club kind of catches up. The ball is hit before this thing kind of catches up. So you start to look at this, you go, okay, wait a second here. That's not what Martin wants. Oh, that is. That club, where's my triangle and ball pointed? Over there somewhere by the red wagon. Where's my golf club? Lagging, okay? Lag isn't this. That'll destroy every golfer that ever played. Lag is more something that I prefer to look at from a condition this way to where I can see the triangle of where my arms are pointing away by Brian over there, a little more down than that, and the club is playing catch up through a combination of expansion of angles and pivot of body. Any questions from that? Guys, blow up your smart ball, put it on, don't choke yourself. Let's hit some pitching wedge shots, 20 to 100 yards, shall we? Let's go. Oh, question. Before every shot, do you swing too hard and so I think it's a great way for you to, so it can be this fast, watch. When you're on the golf course, I'm back here, I can casually go. See how, see how casual that was? Yeah, yeah. That's good enough, okay. right? Because that gave you something not enough, something too strong maybe. Yeah. Now your brain's like, okay, I can find somewhere in the middle of that. Okay. Cool. Okay? Yeah. So every shot, even 